Hi Gemini, I'm hoping everyone is doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your reading for February 2021. Combining a little bit of astrology and tarot, we will do the horoscope spread and see what you guys need to know from the first house to the 12 different areas of your life. As usual, these messages are pretty general, so please take what resonates, leave the rest. What's going on with Gemini's for February? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. What do they need to know? <clears throat> Astrologically, I feel like most of you here, especially if you have a lot of placements in Gemini or air elements, Aquarius will be trining your placement, so you should have opportunities to make the best of it for February. What's going on with Gemini, please? Horoscope spread for February 2021. One more. We do have the Two of Cups. We have a union partnership. We will see Venus in Cancer. The Eight of Cups, someone is disappointed and waiting. And the Two of Wands. Let's see, though. What the cards have to say you're coming with ace, ace of swords the four of pentacles the king of pentacles who the six of cups in the fourth house the magician in the fifth we have the strength or as it's here the last card the three of swords why the six of swords the Five of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Six of Pentacles, Judgment, oh wow, and the Four of Cups. Who had the Four of Cups? Was it Leo in that position? I, I feel like with the Four of Cups here, there's something, uh, this is Moon in Cancer, by the way, for those that need to know the astrological placement. The Four of Cups always feels... Like someone is in a limbo, lingering there, contemplating, uh, wanting to get out of uh, feeling bored, superficial. They the Four of Cups wants more depth and it does not have that depth. So again, it's kind of lingering in there, waiting. It may be, again, sometimes this type of energy of the one that got away type of thing. Or again, nothing satisfies me. This is superficial. I want more kind of energy. Now, how are you coming? This is you and this will portray your behavior, your image, your confident, your ego type of energy. And with the Ace of Swords, it looks like you are uh, looking at clarity for February. Uh, you might be, even the way you act, it will be to the point, breakthrough. It's like cutting through deception, cutting through uh, the, the foggy confusion situation. Also, again, it may feel like, uh, in this case with the Ace of Swords, that you will speak your truth, that you will go after this clarity, that you want this from someone especially. And I'm saying this because the Three of Swords is in your descendant, which is your seventh house, your marriage house, your commitment, or 101, anything about relationship. We have the Three of Swords is something about separation for some of you here, or there's some type of heartbreak. For some of you, of course, you may be moving, as I mentioned here, for whatever feels like settling, wanting something more. So you may be cutting the cord type of situation, especially when it comes to uh, a person or a relationship here with the Three of Swords. At the same time, since we are talking about relationship, you are moving, even with the Six of Swords, it's so interesting, we're getting a lot of Aquarius here. Even with the Six of Swords in the Eighth House, you're moving into a situation where you finally can let go of whatever heartbreak you have been going through. But you have the Magician in the Fifth House, which is the House of Romance. Uh, so I feel like you're manifesting someone. At, at the same time, you are trying to get clarity of whatever has been heartbroken here type of situation or... If you're missing someone, again, the Three of Swords can be just disappointment and wanting a, a person and you're coming with the clarity there. But I feel like there, for some of you, I have to say there's a return of someone in February because we have the Six of Cups and the Judgment here. The Judgment is coming in the 12th house, Piscean house here. The 12th house has to do with hidden uh, situation, what you don't see yet. Subconsciously, for, uh, for some of you here, you want this second chance. You want to make amends. And again, it's coming with a partner here. The Six of Cups tells me that there may be someone that you have known before. For some of you, it can be a family member because, again, the fourth uh, house deals with cancer and also deals with uh, roots, foundation, and people, again, that you have grown up with or that you live with. So with the Six of Cups, for some of you, there may be a return of someone you have known, you feel familiar with, with others. We have the Six of Cups and the Six of Swords. It may be regarding an intimate 
connection. There's something here that is uh, returning, just to let you know. It is a soulmate also, this card. So for some of you will know if this is the person you've been waiting for. Now, what is happening? Uh, again, this is coming from that Ace of Swords that I feel like there's something regarding truth and clarity and ideas that will be uh, regarding a partnership. Let's look a little bit, and I'm going to go house to house here and explain again, but the Four of Pentacles, let's look a little bit here at your financial situation for February. The Four of Pentacles tells me that you are trying to save money for uh, when it comes uh, to February. I feel like you don't want to uh, spend with this. You're holding on to your assets. You might feel like, you know, I need security for February 2021. Uh, you are with the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you're working. You have a skill. You're improving. You may even go after your own business with the Eight of Pentacles. But both of these are very nice because they're falling in uh, Earth Houses. Now, there is something that you're yearning for more with a strength card because this is your day-to-day -day routine and co-workers and the services given. Though you do have the security and you're improving, you're progressing when it comes uh, to a vocation, when it comes here even to your career, there's, it's just, it's not something fast. It's, okay, I'm working, I'm saving, I'm improving. I'm getting to the point again that I'm so close to that nine and ten of pentacles energy, which is all about abundance. So it's, it's a progress financially here for you guys. But this tells me again that you might be wanting something more. You might be yearning for something more uh, with the last card for um, when it comes to your day to day. For some of you, it may be again regarding your health, taking care of your body taking care of again of how you take care um, or diet nutrition type of situation because it's a six house but uh, it's just having the strength having the power and going after it what is happening in the third house if you are the king of pentacles here again i'm getting this practical approach the way you are going to look at things the way you are going to communicate your environment it's all about this steady approach for some of you this person may be influencing your mind your thinking your communication or your environment it can be a taurus capricorn virgo for some of you again it's not going to be for all of you, but I feel like this is someone that is impacting and influencing you when it comes to communication uh, as well. This uh, I do see the King of Pentacles as someone that you can count on financially, especially if we're dealing with contracts in this case. As I mentioned, what is going on at home? We have some type of return, a soulmate. We have with the Six of Cups here, a harmonious energy. Nothing to worry regarding your foundation at home or your situation at home. It's just some of you may be feeling nostalgic uh, with the Six of Cups. Thinking again of someone that uh, you have known before that you want to come back. A harmonious soulmate type of connection. You are manifesting or someone is manifesting you, uh, Gemini romantically we have uh, mercury which is virgo and gemini energy but overall the magician here is just awareness regarding your romantic um, partners here or love interest whoever it is in your mind that you're manifesting for some of you you might have a talent here with uh, with mercury energy when it comes to writing when it comes again uh, to wanting to to manifest something in that area. This is the house of creativity. So keep that in mind. It's it's a good time to manifest any type of talents that you have and work and improve uh, with that eight of pentacles. As I mentioned in your day-to-day -day routine, I feel like you are trying to tame the beast here. You want something more. Uh, you're lasting uh, regarding something more in your day-to-day -day routine. Again, it may be the four of cups that oh, is not enough. I, I want depth. I want substance. I want... Uh, that intimate connection. Again, I see some type of separation or heartbreak or someone is heartbroken over you here in this case with a three of swords in your marriage, partnership or one-on-one -on -one connection. Uh, it's good to have the six of swords in the eighth house because again, this house sometimes can be a little bit um, about endings. I feel like you're moving even when it comes to shared resources, even when it comes to intimacy, it's just looking outside of the box type of energy transitioning you might be feeling that you know something i'm tired of conflict i'm tired of especially if you're dealing also with the scorpio it's just letting go of resentment of hurt of conflict and just looking at things in a smoother way now if you're dealing with any person long distance we have the five of swords here they they are feeling conflicted it looks like they may even feel a little bit of resentment in this case. Uh, we have Venus in Aquarius. 
Of course, there's desires because we're talking about Venus, but also when it comes to uh, the way they think, they may be afraid of defeat. They may be afraid here that um, if they contact you or when it comes to their faith, their belief regarding this connection, there may be obstacles and challenges. Um, it may be an ego situation. It's just their thought here are kind of conflicting because they want something at the same time they want it their own way. They, they feel like they have to win or they have to come here as a winner in this situation with that five of swords. As I mentioned, uh, career-wise, you're working um, towards something of improving progress, mastery of skill. It's improvement, improvement in that area of your life. I feel like some of you are going to be very sociable when it comes to February, networking, uh, social groups. There may be a friend here that might reach out and you might feel like uh, sharing. I, I feel like, again, with the manifestations here and the Six of Pentacles in the 11th house, it's all about this harmonious energy. We have actually uh, the Six of Cups, we have the Six of Pentacles, and we have the Six of Swords. This is all about balance. It's all about harm harmony uh, type of energy. So I feel like, again, it may be through friendship. It may be that you're ready to move on in a new direction, uh, leave this conflict or resentment or whoever has this behind. Um, you might be receiving also uh, help from your friends, uh, social groups. Uh, I like the moon in Taurus energy. I feel like it's very abundant. Uh, moon is exalted in Taurus. So it's all about luxury. This also is the house of visions. Uh, for the future wishes and you're looking that finally things are coming towards you things are improving so you are kind of dreaming and making plans again the secretive house now something may come to the surface here with the judgment this house does speak of uh, hidden enemies and i do not see a hidden enemy uh, in with the judgment i feel like there's going to be an awareness uh, intuitive as well because it is a piscean um, house Something, again, will come towards you with both of these that you'll feel like, okay, now I know. Now I can see clearly. Someone also may, as I mentioned here, uh, want to come back, contact you. They're hoping behind the scenes that there will be a chance to come forward. Some forgiveness for others here. So be aware of the judgment. It's a major arcana. It's very important. Uh, I'm looking here how many major arcanas you have in this reading. You have the magician, you have the strength card, and the judgment, which has to do with your romantic life, your day-to-day, -day, your work situation. And again, the 12th house, your subconscious, hidden pleasure in this situation, soulmates, and so on. So I feel like for some of you, a soulmate is coming back, or finally you are going to hear from someone that, again, you have been pining or they've been pining uh, for you in this case. All right, so we're going to go Aries through Pisces. If you're dealing with an Aries, there's going to be contact or some type of breakthrough. If you're dealing with a Taurus, you both are not opening up, you're holding back, you're not letting go, but I don't feel like you're opening up, you're not taking a risk towards each other. If you're dealing with another Gemini, we have the King of Pentacles, so we're talking about some type of practical approach, long-term goals. This is a person that, again, once they decide, they will be there for life. Again, this may be also, if you're dealing uh, with a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, they're coming towards you. Uh, if you're dealing with the Cancer, you guys have this soulmate connection. You want to be together. It may be a return for both of you. If you're dealing with a Leo, you're both manifesting each other. If you are dealing uh, with a Virgo, there's a passion here that is being withheld. There's desires between the two of you. There's lust. If you're dealing with a Libra, you guys are heartbroken. For some of you, maybe going through a separation. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, you guys are ready to move on where you can leave the conflict behind in this case. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, you guys are going through conflict. There's a little bit here of guilt or resentment. Or again, they want to come towards you, but they're afraid of defeat. If you're dealing with the Capricorns, you guys have long-term goals together. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, you both harmoniously are good with one another. It's a give and take relationship. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, there's a comeback here. There's some type of return, a calling, a moment of truth between the two of you. I really hope this does resonate with you guys. For those that are interested in the extended, um, we will just go one more time here through all of the cards and see what you need to know further if we can get a little bit more deeper in the reading. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.